else? Okay, sorry, Ilan. Okay, okay. Yeah, so uh, I'm CyberCAD on X. Super, even just normal supervised FSD is not allowed in Europe currently, um, which doesn't make any sense. And I've had these like crazy conversations with the regulators. But I, the, 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 I mean, the thing is that we actually have agreed to buy all the chips that are made from the fab, you know. Uh, so it's basically a money printing machine for TSMC and Samsung. It's like literally the faster you make the chips, the faster we send them money. But it's still not going at the, the fast enough. Uh, so that's why I think, as far as I can see, the only option is to go build some like uh, very big chip fab. Um, and then you gotta solve memory and packaging too. So, uh, but otherwise you just, you just tap out at whatever the, the chip production rate is. Um, and um, so I guess Terra would be, you'd, you'd, you'd wanna say it's, it's gotta be at least 100,000 wafer starts per month size fab, and maybe that would be one of 10 in a complex, so it would ultimately be a million wafer stars per month. Yeah, exactly, you can tell when, you, when it gets the giggle factor, that's probably a good sign <laughs> that, that we're onto something special. Sorry? What about economies of scale and the impact it has to how you respond as an automotive company? Um, and then we've got, the, the first car that is specifically built for uh, uh, unsupervised full self-driving to, to be a robotaxi, it's called a cybercab. It doesn't even have pedals or a steering wheel. Um, <laughs> yeah. So no, no, there's no side view mirrors, there's no, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, and, and it's, it's very much optimized to min for, for the lowest cost per mile in, a, in an autonomous mode. Um, and that production is happening right here in this factory, and we'll be starting production in April next year. Um, system. Um, and integer operations are fundamentally more efficient than floating point operations. So we can do floating point, but we, but the vast majority. Or are you guys confident that uh, every cyber cab you guys make, you'll be able to deploy? Yeah, I think, I think the rate at which we'll, we receive regulatory approval will roughly match the rate of cyber cab production. Um, it'll be maybe a little tight, but um, that's, it's, it's about right. Um, and I'd like to thank, thank Waymo for paving the, the path here. It's very helpful. Um, so, uh, yeah, but it, I, I think we'll be able to deploy all the, all the cyber cabs that we produce. Um, and the, the other thing is like w once it becomes like extremely normal in cities, it's just going to become uh, th like the, the regulators will have just fewer and fewer reasons to say no. So all of their requirements, all of the software that they've written has to work, which is a very difficult problem. Uh, whereas uh, we just need to make it work for our software.